I'm going to spend the next seven days making a mod in Minecraft. I mean, come on, how hard could it be? Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope that worked. How did he do that? Did that work? Uh, I hope this is so weird. Oh, hold on, that is not what we wanted at all. All right, so I do have one confession to make. I am making this for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'm sorry to all you Java supremacists out there, but Bedrock Edition is the more popular version, and I do intend to port this over to Java eventually, but for now, this is what we're doing. Okay, so what do I do now? The first thing I had to do was actually decide what I was going to make. I had come up with the idea for this video right in the midst of the whole Helldivers 2 vs Sony drama, so I decided I was going to make the most democratic and freedom oriented Helldivers 2 mod that Super Earth had ever seen. So I got started setting up my project. I'm using a program called Bridge, which is a program dedicated to making bedrock add-ons. It was now time to enter our proverbial hell pods and dive into the world of add-on creation. I found a tutorial series on YouTube and began watching it to make my first item, the Helldiver's Helmet. So after messing around with Blockbench for a little bit, I started to understand what I needed to do and made a helmet. Ugh. Oh, that, okay, that model is borderline treason right there. It took me a minute to realize that I could actually change the shape of the helmet, but once I figured that out, it was smooth sailing, and I made a helmet design that I'm actually pretty proud of. Yeah, look at this. This actually looks pretty good. Can't wait to show this off to some of my friends. They didn't respond. It's clear that my friends had very little faith in my abilities. It also may have been that I just actually didn't tell them what it was, and they just didn't see it. I don't know. I'm going to choose to take it as an insult because it adds to the story. I'll just have to create an add-on worthy of their love and respect. So let's get working on the rest of the armor. I began scrolling through the internet looking for good images of Helldiver's armor, and as usual, scrolling down too far leads to some interesting results. I, 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 what, what, what is this? The chest plate gave me quite a bit of trouble. Both arms were merging together, and I guess I had made it too complex because I couldn't figure out how to get it to texture properly. So I decided to simplify the model down just a little bit, and that seemed to fix the problem. The boots and leggings were a breeze, and pretty soon I had the entire Helldiver's armor set fully completed. These three pieces look good because it's got some aspects of like the 3D model, like, you know, it was like his belt type of thing, and like the, the knee, the knee pads and all that. The helmet looks good, but this chest plate work in progress. Absolutely. And we'll fix it. Right after recording that segment, I decided that I was going to spend some more time cleaning up the chest plate and I did just that. And I think it looks so much better, but this was right about the end of the first day. So let's move on to day two. Helldivers 2 is a game about spreading democracy on distant planets, and I wanted to make the most democracy spreading gun ever seen. However, I had no idea how to do that. I found a different gun add-on online and began picking through its code to see what exactly he did. The problem was I wasn't nearly knowledgeable enough to be able to reverse engineer any of his work. We were getting into vastly uncharted territory here functions, animation controllers, and scripts, it was clear that a lot of this stuff was far beyond my reach. So due to my distinct lack of knowledge on the situation, I decided to put the gun on hold, which was actually a really good thing because soon after I began having tons of problems with the armor. So mistakes were made. If we log on, um, the armor, you know, it's right there. It's looking good. However, uh, this is... This is the armor now, and I don't, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but it's now being like rendered as an item that you hold in your hand instead. And now I like can't see, um, it, I think this all happened because I was trying to copy the, the pack from Blockbench to bridge so I could edit it in bridge and it didn't like that at all. Now I'm trying to figure out how on earth to fix it. After a bit more work, I got the armor fully sorted out and finished. 
which was great because now I had other things to worry about. It was clear that I needed more information. I hadn't actually watched most of the tutorial series that I said I was going to, which was my fault, but I decided to join the Bridge Discord instead in hopes that fellow add-on creators might be able to help me. I decided to just try and make the gun, using the small amount of mechanics that I knew about and just see what happens. And of course, it didn't work. I couldn't figure out how to make it lower its durability every time I shot. So on the evening of day two, I made a post in that discord asking for help and let it sit till the next day. It's day three and nobody responded. I'm kind of sensing a common theme here. I don't actually know how active that discord is. There seem to be other discussions going on, but clearly I was not important enough to be one of them. So I decided to put the gun on hold again and move on to something that I knew would be easier, simply because there is so much more documentation about it, and that is making an entity. Now, Helldivers 2 has dozens of different bugs and robots that you fight, and I am not going to make all of them. In fact, I'm only planning on making one in this video, and that is the Scavenger. Now, the Scavenger, he's a little dude, pretty annoying and pretty small. A perfect target for a three-day-old modder like me. So I began messing around in Blockbench again and threw together a model that actually looked pretty good. I started texturing a little bit and before I knew it, I was standing right next to him in game. Look at this little guy, isn't he so cute? Oh yeah, also the uh, the armor broke again. Um, that's kind of a daily occurrence now. But look at him, he's so tiny. I don't have his legs textured yet. I do need to work on that. He's got no AI, he doesn't move, doesn't do anything. I can punch him, but that's it. Okay, so I was just messing with the behavior of the scavenger, which now has a black egg, okay? I was trying to put it into bridge and get it to do some stuff, but now if I punch them, they start flying. Oh, they face through blocks too. I don't know why this is happening. I'll be real with you. I also need to finish texturing their legs. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so I think I may have figured out why it was just floating straight into the air. I didn't give it gravity, which I am just now doing. Clearly, the scavenger needed a bit more work, so I finished texturing his legs and began working on some animations. I made an idle animation and a walking animation. And I know that no good Super Earth citizen would ever collaborate with enemies of democracy, but like, look at these bugs. Look at them. They're just, they're just kind of fun. And don't worry, I'll, I'll be sure to eventually set up a command block to dump a thousand of them into lava very soon. But now we have a different problem. They have super speed, I guess. I think I set their speed multiplier way too high because they are moving fast enough to achieve interplanetary travel. I messed with their speed multiplier a little bit and finally got it so that they did damage when they attacked. And so the scavenger was pretty much fully completed. That was of course until everything broke the next day. It's day four and I'll be honest, I didn't get nearly as much done as I would have hoped. And it's for one very specific reason. The scavenger animations are broken, and now it just doesn't animate at all. The only cause that I could at all think of was that I recently closed Blockbench without saving, and maybe that messed something up. Long story short, I had to rename a bunch of files and pretty much animate that scavenger three times. But it was fixed in the end, and we were ready to move on. Alright, day four is pretty much at a close, and here's what we have so far. We have the scavenger animations damage everything fully sorted out we have the frag grenade which has a bugged item name i guess but basically when you throw it it explodes and lastly we have the full hell diver suit now none of this has crafting recipes or anything yet this is primarily just a demo but the thing i want to spend day five six and seven all working on is the gun Ah, <sighs> that last statement was the biggest lie I have ever told. You see, there was actually a weekend gap between day four and day five because I had to take a college placement test and study for it, get it all situated. But when I finally came back a few days later, I began working on the gun. So I loaded up that other gun add-on I was referencing and just decided to play around with it. And it's important to note that I hadn't done this at all in these last few days. I was just looking at the code, but I was absolutely blown away by this add-on. I mean, just look at it. Th 
that gun add-on really is democracy's finest. And I was just in no position to try to recreate it. And it was at the point where I was just feeling so underqualified that I made the decision to not make a gun in this video. I just need more time to learn how add-on making works and how modding works and before I can make something like that, because that add-on is what I want my guns to look like too. Oh, you know what I could do? You know, you know what I could do? I could, I could do it. Nobody would know. Not a soul. Oh, why are your guns exactly the same as his? What is, well, I, I, I don't know. I just, great minds think alike. You know, he copied my code, actually. You know? I do want to say, um, for all intents and purposes, that was a joke. I was not actually planning on stealing his code at all. He has a whole bunch of stuff set up, so like I actually kind of can't. Um, so yeah, we'll work on the gun later. But now, on to new stuff. I know some of you are probably upset that I'm not making a gun in this add-on, but I do want to mention that this add-on will not stop at just this video. If you want this to continue and encompass more creatures, more weapons, more armors, and you want to see it ported over to Java Edition, the best thing you can do is to leave a like and join our Discord so you can get updates as new features are added. If enough people show support for this mod, I will absolutely pour all of my time into it. I'll have the download link for the add-on in the description right now, so if you watch this video late and I've added more features, it'll be right there for you. But with that being said, let's move on to day six. Day six, I decided to change gears and actually start making some blocks. You can't actually destroy the ground in Helldivers, so I decided to just make some things that made sense. I started by making a ton of terminated blocks. Terminated nest block, terminated stone, terminated walls, and even those small little spore things that slow you down. I also had a literal blast making the automaton contact mine. After that, I looked into custom biome generation, which turned out to be uh, just impossible, like literally impossible. It turns out that after 1.18, custom biomes just don't work and Mojang hasn't fixed it. So there's a couple hours I'll never get back. Because of this whole biome problem, I decided to switch gears and use custom structures instead, which I know for a fact work because I've seen other people use them. The only problem was I couldn't figure it out. For some reason, no matter what I did, they just wouldn't spawn. But I wasn't giving up yet. I refused to take another loss on this video. The major order was on the line and I wasn't giving up yet. So I dove deeper into Discord and into Reddit and found somebody who was having the exact opposite problem of me. Too many structures spawning. So I decided to ask if he could help me. And of course, there was no response. What is up with people? The Bedrock Marketplace is chock full of add-on creations. Why can no one help me? I went to bed that night defeated. I already thrown out a massive feature that I wanted to make in this video, and if I don't get these structures to work, then that means I would have wasted half of these seven days. All I could do was hope that the last day would bring a solution. I got started the next day with a plan. I decided to join the general Bedrock Add-ons Discord. There were thousands of people in there. Surely one could help me. And so I began searching until I found it. A three week old conversation between two people trying to figure out my exact problem. And there it was. My format version wasn't right. So I switched it and sweet liberty it worked. Structures were now spawning and everything seemed to be going well. That was of course until I looked at the armor. Once again, the armor was broken. I guess messing with the manifest version after the pack was already made was not a good idea. I tried everything I could to fix it, even reverting back to the old versions, but nothing worked. The more I tried to troubleshoot, the more time ticked by. And before I knew it, day seven was over. And so that was it. I had failed to finish everything I wanted in these seven days. But then I remembered something, a training tip from the Helldivers handbook. If at first you don't succeed, dive, dive again, and again, and again, and again, and again. We were not giving up yet. Sure, the seven days were over, but we could still fix this mod. So I spent day eight painstakingly recreating the entire add-on in the updated version. It was time to see if all this work finally paid off. 
And it did. Triple the defense budget, General, because we are so back. Okay, so the add-on took eight days, not seven. But I still learned a ton about making add-ons in this video. If you want to see more videos about add-on creation or mod making for Minecraft Java Edition, leave a like and let me know down in the comments below. With that being said, happy diving, Helldivers.